prior to the social media, right? Like you, I think there was something to be said about the quality of competitors because I agree you only had six seven shows a year mm -hmm. so if you were prepping for that show and you missed your mark yeah you didn't just keep going to the next one it was like three months later right so you either missed it and then went back to the drawing board it's true you know now it's like people are like oh I had a cheat I can have a cheat meal because I'll just do the next one right it's like a week later yeah. You know, there's one every weekend now, so they can just do the next one, next one. Yeah. And it creates a little bit of less urgency or less importance. And then it was like you had this show. And and yeah. people that don't know bodybuilding know back then to win a show like the L.A. and the cow were big because you had to qualify. Yes, I remember. Right. You was, had to do the cow to yeah. qualify. Right. To, you know, you had to qualify for the cow right. to then do the USA's. Right. right. And basically the USA's was all your state winners like the winner yeah. of the cow the winner of nevada the winner of going to the usa to get a title so it was there was kind of a like uh, pecking order to get there and you you knew kind of who was like the guys up and coming yeah right but the news traveled slow right like because you only knew by the magazine. The magazine came out like four months after the show, right? So <laughs> you see the pictures of like who won nationals like like four months later, you know? Um, so I think for me personally, I'm so competitive yeah. that in my head, people were so much better than they really were. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like in my head, so and so was working so hard. Now you can like look on their Instagram and no, check and like see how they're looking on their Instagram story, which can can create Or some, can you? Because yeah. everyone's photoshopping. Yeah, that's true. Do you really know what's going on? Yeah. I don't. But they can cre you know, it can create some like you know, a little yeah. bit of like slacking in your prep, right? Because you're like gauging what other people are doing. Yeah. And back then it was just like your imagination was how they were. You know, I could sit there and be like, this guy's got to be huge right now. He's yeah. outworking me. He's going to show up like this. And when you can't see how these guys yeah. are looking two weeks out, three weeks out, and yeah. you're not, nothing to compare it to, you just have like you in your, yeah. in your thoughts, you know, sitting there and prepping for your show, finding yourself going like sometimes I'm on the treadmill. Now I'm like on my yeah. second hour because I need to get leaner because so-and-so is going to be so shredded. You know, and and I think it created like a yeah. sense of of urgency, you know, that yeah. to prep. And and now with social media, it's mm -hmm. like everybody's got everything kind of out there, you know. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of see where people are at, what they're doing. Yes. And you just didn't know who was showing up to a show. Yeah. It was just like you show up and check ins for a show used to be the day of. I remember. <laughs> so you'd get there that morning and make weight and I then know. like an hour later jump on stage. So yeah. like you couldn't even like size up who was there right. or make any adjustments. It was like you showed up the morning, stepped on the scale, yeah. got off the scale, boom, got on stage. Yeah. And yeah. and back then also it was like you didn't get these participation, you know, medals. It right. was like if you weren't in the top five. Yeah. You would walk it off the stage yeah. and then they would just call out five numbers yeah. that made it to the finals. And if you weren't one of them, you just take your number and drop it in a bucket and go home. It was over. That's crazy. Right. It was That's like crazy. you were done. If you didn't make it to the top five, you went home. You didn't do your routine. And so only the top five would come back yeah. for the night show. And it was, uh, you know, it was a lot different. But I liked <sighs> that because I think losing is so important. Right. It is. It's so important. Yeah. It's it's the most important thing in the world is losing. Yeah, I agree. I mean, me personally, it's it's so funny because I'm, you know, people see, you know, like, you know, how many times you've been to the, the Olympia or mm -hmm. like winning a show. But it's like they don't realize how many times you had to lose or have your gut punched and it's like those are the moments where you get humbled. Mm -hmm. I also think I want to know your thoughts on this, but you know when people say, you know, I'm so humble to get first place. I don't know, I always wonder how that makes sense because first place doesn't humble you. It's like losing humbles you. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. as a coach of so many athletes, they see your over a hundred Olympians, you know, your multiple wins, but you deal with a lot of athletes. You've dealt with athletes that have had a lot of disappointment. Oh, so yeah. put me through that process and the variance of like the people that you've dealt with and how they handle that. I, I lose all the time. Yeah. You know, I, I think. Which you don't like, I know. 
I hate losing, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's such an important part of life and losing, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're never going to know what you're good at until you realize what you're not good at. Right. Like, right? like yeah. I, I mean, and when they do this, like, as long as you work hard, you could do whatever you want. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> It's not true. It just means don't put your effort into an area. Yeah. You know, find something because everybody's got a gift. I'm five feet tall. I'm never going to be a basketball player. No. Okay. Yeah. So it's not in the cards for me. And if you spent your entire yeah. life pursuing that, then you would never have realized yeah. your potential that you had in something else. In something else. Yeah. It's true. Right. And so losing is so important in order to direct your path. Mm -hmm. Right. But I think there's the best athletes are the ones that didn't that it that it didn't come very easy for right um i've had i can't even tell you how many of the guys that i had that are my olympians that mm -hmm. never won like an overall as an amateur mm -hmm. wow like, they didn't start winning shows until they were a pro Dang.